This is Minister John Rowland III. And this one is Sermon 6. Now, I'm going to talk about some of the things that we've already talked about in other videos. But, let's talk about them again. So maybe you will remember and understand even better. Now, we live in a big circle of life. We get born, we live on our lives, we raise children, and then we die. And everybody doesn't realize that, but every one of us throughout the whole world live in our own circle of life. But nobody understands between saved and unsaved. Even though they have heard the saying, they actually do not know what it means. So within each of our circles, we have to learn about God and who he is and why we need to be saved. You should watch Sermon 5. Now, the next thing is complaining all the time. We have talked about this before. But, they pay you to do a job. Any company that you get a job at, they pay you to do a job. They don't pay you to complain. They don't pay you to criticize people. They don't pay you to pick on people. They pay you to do a job. You are a robot. You go to work. You do your job. If you have anything that you need to know about your job, you ask your boss. This is why you have a boss. Okay, number three. So when we complain, do we change what we are complaining about? Or do we choose something else to take its place? More than likely we change to take its place. But that's not our job. Our job is to do the job. Not to complain. So remember that. Or mess with other people or try to get them fired, or, or whatever is going on. You're paid to do a job. You're not paid to do that. Now this next thing, on the number four, is what child do you love more? This has come up because one of the children was complaining that the parents did not Pay attention to the child and do things for the child. And then he went up one day and asked his dad. He said, Dad, why don't you pay attention to me more? He said, which hand do you love more? And the child says, both. He said, okay then, that means you love all your children the same. But, if one of the children need help, that's the one I'm going to help. The other one that doesn't need help, I don't have to help. Unless they ask. And the first thing, you never asked for help. Because you were self-sufficient. But your brother needed help. So that was the one we helped. And you think that we loved him more because we paid more attention to him. That wasn't the case. He needed help. So we helped him. If you needed help, we would have helped you. Which hand do you love more? That was the answer. Number five. The more you read and learn, soon you have learned enough, so it becomes wisdom. Once you read, once you have gone to school, 
once you have learned everything that you need to learn to do your job, and then you do your job really well, it becomes wisdom because you have learned and retained how to do that job. And the best part about once you have the wisdom, if somebody asks you a question about that job, you can answer it. The more problems you can solve, the more valuable you will be to any business. Remember that. The more wisdom you have, the more valuable you will be to a business. Number six. We have to learn to let go of the past. That's the worst thing. Some people live there. And they just can't seem to live in the present, in everyday life. They have the burdens of the past. You can't live in the past to live in the present and even into the future. So you have to let the past go. Number seven. Now the next, a lot of these things are really kind of interesting, but this one is going to be, I might even get a lot of feedback on this one, but the, the problem is color. And no matter the color of our skin, remember one thing. It is to be a man or a woman first. Stand up for what is right within your own mind. Do not make excuses to make yourself look better than it really is. No matter what, be a man or a woman and own up to what you have done. For judgment day will come and what you do will reflect who you are. Like if you did something, the cop comes up and say, who did this and who did that? If you've done it, own up to it. Don't try to weasel out of it using your color. Some white people can get off too, just as well as anybody else. It all depends who they know. If they know, the mayor, or if they know the judges, or if they know somebody, then they can get off too. But sometimes if you use things too much, it becomes wrong. That means you are wrong. That means your truth that you speak is lies. Always speak the truth. No matter what. I don't care what it is. If you cheated on your wife, you tell them. And then they can decide what they want to do. If they want to stay or go. That's up to them. But own up to everything you do. Period. Now, I want to get into... There's actually two different, we use hell in a different tone, different ways. And actually hell is a never-ending burning dump right outside in the valley. And I can't remember the name of the valley, but it's just right outside Jerusalem. That's why you can't find any artifacts, or you can't find anything, because everything was burned. Which it was so hot, everything just melted. I don't care if it was metal, pottery, or whatever it was. Everything just melted. That's why you can't find nothing in that area. Now, there isn't any spiritual hell. There's only the kingdom of God. I said that once before. So, when you stand before God, 
either you repent and admit that he is real because God sees us not as sinners he sees us as disobedient children so if we repent we will be in heaven with him if we don't we will cease to exist period and the next thing is the power of speech we are the only animals on this planet as humans that we can communicate what we need and or want we're the only ones we have intelligence remember that so speak the truth now search for the meaning of life we all should do that whether we're saved or not but once we're saved we know the meaning of life because God now lives within us and we know where we come from and who God is Now, search for the meaning of life. Do not let any other country sway you from your goal in life. Do not do what others want you to do. Do not let TV and other countries try to influence you and do things. Do not get distracted so the enemy can come in and we will not see for if we are arguing amongst ourselves, we will not see them coming. What a, an idea. Watch out for anyone or anything that will destroy your way of life. Pay attention to what is important. Our country is ours, and do not let any other country come and take it over for... We were not watching. They can come in. We're too busy fighting amongst ourselves. That's really interesting. With all the stuff that's going on right now, who do you think started all this? Other countries. I'm not going to say which ones. Other countries have come in and try to destroy the way out destroy the way of our lives now i was just thinking of this here because way of life you know straight gay whatever now the gay agenda was really kind of interesting because the gay agenda was not getting gays married they wanted to destroy marriage itself. You wait later on, there's going to be others that are going to try to make, you can marry rocks, trees, robots, cars, whatever you want to marry, you can. They're trying to destroy marriage, period. So it's useless. And they're also their agenda is to destroy anything and everything that has to do with the church. And marriage is one of them. You wait later on, they're going to be doing other things. So watch out. Don't let them tell you that you can do this and you can do that because they're trying to get everybody together to rebel. Don't listen to them. Basically, you know, within this life, everything comes down in life. What do you want out of life? Are you working toward it? Have you accomplished what you want out of life? Or have you, have others guide you and try to tell you this and try to tell you that. 
that's not very good. It's like the old guy, the old guy asked him a question, and the guy says, well, would you have done anything different now that you're 70 years old? What, what, what would you would have changed throughout your life? And then he thought for a few minutes, and he said, you know, he says, if I had to do it all over, he says, there was a lot of things that I would have changed, and a lot of things that maybe I probably still would have done, but I would have changed certain things. I says, well, why don't you do it right now? Because you're still alive. And he thought, he looked at me, and he says, you know, he says, that's right. I can do what I want now, and ain't nobody can stop me. I said, go for it. What's stopping you? Now, I also want to, the UB, we call it for short, which is the Urantia book. And the Urantia book tells about, I get all this, God, angels, creator sons, free will, choice, life after death, what Jesus did and what he taught, where we come from and why we are here, history of the earth, creation with evolution, creation within evolution, choices we make daily, free gifts of God, our thought adjuster and our faith. There's two most important things. One day here on Earth is when we walked on the moon. You know what the second one is? Everybody should know. It is when Jesus walked out of the tomb. What did he accomplish when he done that? He survived death. So that means we can too. Until next time, this is Minister John Rulin III, and I will see you next time.